the coronavirus has caused chaos in the NBA and all the sporting world, actually. Uh, heck, it's even caused chaos to me, to me and some other people I know. Um, you know, got classes moved online now, and, you know, now the NBA is suspending the season. The NCAA tournament's no longer going to be having fans. They might even suspend it. Uh, Rudy Gobert has the coronavirus. Tom Hanks has the coronavirus. Uh, this is getting crazy. Uh, I'm no medical expert, so, I mean, I have my opinions about this, but I'll try not to give them. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a little crazy. It's affected major, major companies, major, in this case, leagues, tournaments, major events into canceling, suspending. I mean, this is chaos. Woj freaking dropped the biggest bomb of his life, which is some, saying something because he's dropped a lot of powerful bombs. The NBA has suspended the season. That's a big deal. This all developed really quickly. Um... This morning, I think, the NCAA announced that they would be playing the men and women's tournaments without crowds, so just family and essential members of the staff, which is a little crazy. I mean, March Madness is crazy enough, you know, with the fans and stuff, so that was a big announcement. And then the NBA announced, or it got crazier after that. We had heard the Warriors were going to play without fans. They were going to do that, and that was crazy. And then all of a sudden... The Thunder Jazz gets canceled out of nowhere, or postponed, sorry. And we're thinking, well, what what the heck is that for? We th we heard Rudy Gobert and some other guys were sick after Rudy Gobert apparently touched a bunch of microphones. And ooh, scary. Um, but for real, he actually did do that a few days ago. But apparently, Gobert and a few other players tested positive for the coronavirus. And out of nowhere, they're about to tip off. Team doctor runs on the court, says, cut this out. We can't do this. And... Um, they didn't play. They postponed the game. And the teams, the Thunder and the Jazz, are both being quarantined in the arena right now, which is crazy within itself. Um, and then very quickly, I don't know if they're still playing games right now, but Woj tweets that the NBA suspended the season. I knew they were going to do something like that. Um, because, you know, you hear that. That's chaotic with the whole Gobert Thunder thing. And for them to just up and say we're suspending the season really that quick was not it's a it's a huge deal don't get me wrong but it's not a surprise, um, you know this is a big deal, like look this is it's not like Ebola or anything it doesn't kill everyone it touches, but it's still a big deal in the fact that people are getting infected they're getting sick, you know and I think that I don't want to get too deep into it but. You know, out of what I've heard is the only people who have died from this are elderly people and people who have weak immune systems. So I think we do have to stop the spread of it so that it doesn't reach those people and kill those people. I think we do need to stop that with how quick this is spreading. I think we do need to, we do in fact need to somehow calm it down, get it down um, when it comes to infecting people. At the same time, it's a little crazy like how much this has escalated. Um, as I said, I'm not a medical expert, so I don't know everything on this, but that's all I do know out of what I've heard. So this is really chaotic. Uh, I got a lot of emotions about it, obviously. I mean, when it comes to being an NBA fan, I mean, this is the time of the year. This, this is when it gets interesting. The Thunder and Jazz were going to play for the four seed tonight. The Thunder win. They're tied with the Jazz, and they have a tiebreaker for the four seed. Jazz win, they pull ahead. It's an important game. I mean... Health and life is bigger than basketball, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, this is crazy. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, health is really important and stuff. I agree with that. But, man, this is, it's just, it's a lot to process. It's a lot to think about that all this has happened in the last 24 hours. I mean, this coronavirus has been going on for a few weeks now. But they've just straight up suspended the season. The tournament doesn't have fans anymore at the game. They might suspend it all around. All these leagues are putting in protocols for the coronavirus. Um, I'm trying. I, I just don't know what to say. It's a lot to process. You know, you got, if you're a fan of these things, and then people at work, people at school, including myself, they're having these 
uh, you can't show up. You got online classes now. You got online work. It's a lot. It's a lot to process. It's one of the biggest things in my lifetime, at least, I've seen cause such a worldwide, I want to say panic, but, you know, I'm, I'm personally not panicked about it. I know other people are, depending on their situation, but I personally, right now, I do not feel panicked about the situation. Um, you know, other people might. I want to reassure you that right now, just take a deep breath, um, you know. I'm not, I'm, I feel fine. I feel like if I get, if I, if I were to get the coronavirus, I'm, I'm young. I don't have immune system issues, I don't think. So I think I'd be able to get over it. Uh, people have gotten over it. I heard a hundred year old man got over it. So I don't think it's as severe as Ebola or anything. I don't think it's super mild like a cold. I think it's something like a flu, maybe. It might be seasonal. It's new, so we don't have a vaccine. I think that's what most of the panic is about, is that something new, um, well, at least new to this widespreadness of it. And, you know, we don't have a major vaccine that can help not necessarily cure it, but calm it down. Um, so people are trying to quarantine themselves, trying to reduce the risk of spreading it to other people. So that it doesn't reach those who are could potentially die from it. It's chaotic. I got a lot of thoughts in my brain that are just wandering, you know. It messes up a lot of stuff for the NBA, especially it suspends the season. You got people who have season tickets. You got people who buy, bought tickets in advance. Same thing with March Madness. So, I mean, I'm sure they're going to get refunds if they end up canceling it all together. Um, you know, whatever happens, happens. I don't know what else to say. Um, so it affects people in that category, but then when it comes to work in school, obviously, um, you know, for me personally, I have to go back home and I gotta, I gotta go back to my school, get my books, drive all the way home. It's just chaotic. It's, it's chaotic in the sense of all these moving pieces, all these things getting canceled, all these things getting delayed. Um, so yeah, that's just my personal take on it. I tried not to get too opinion opinionated. I threw some things out there, but um, it's just some major breaking news that there was no way I wasn't going to talk about it. You know, I I'll talk about some things on Twitter that I think I could talk about on Twitter, but there's some things I <laughs> I've talked for eight minutes now. I mean, you can't you can't go around not talking about it, especially when you're a fan of the league. And, you know, for me, I'm I'm a small YouTuber, but I like to share my opinions on as many things as I can. Sometimes I just do it on Twitter because I need to restrict myself. But this is something major. It's a major world. I don't want to call it a crisis, but, you know, people are calling it a crisis. A world, uh, world talking about disease kind of thing. It, it's just chaotic. Uh, I don't know what the, what the hell is going to happen with all this, but... That's all I got. That's all I'm going to talk about. I'm going to cut off here. I've been blabbing on for long enough. Um, stay healthy. Wash your hands. Just do common sense things when it comes to your personal health. Wash your hands. Take showers. Don't go up hugging sick people. If you if you feel any what sick, stay home. Wash your hands. Get some medicine if you need medicine. Just don't be stupid. That's all I got to say.